Okay, I'm going to take you on a bit of a um, tour of my book collection, magazine collection. And uh, this is probably about 10, 10 years plus of work and a lot of money and a lot of investment. And there's some, actually quite some good stuff in here. So, And we've also got some DVDs. And um, all right, let's have a look. All right, we'll start with, this is the first shelf. We've got, um, this is the Adelaide Grand Prix, 1985-1995. Uh, We've got uh, Australian Motor Racing Year, um, 1981, all the way through to 1988. And that's all consecutive, and there are more, but they're the ones i got so far. Um, on the top here, we've got uh, Pirelli Album of Motorsport. That's actually quite a good book. Um, it's the biggest book I've got in terms of size, so and it has to go on the top, otherwise it'll stick out of the shelf. Um, we've got uh, Grand Prix 1985 to 1989. This is all the editions that were published of that series. Um, basically another sort of yearbook. Um, here we've got, uh, this is another F1 yearbook. Um, this is actually probably one of the better ones. Um, second, probably second best to auto course. Um, at the moment, I've got 2004, which is the first one, and we got up to 2012. Um, I also got 2007, 2011. Um, in the process of filling the gaps there. Uh, here we've got uh, auto course yearbooks for IndyCar and kart racing. At the moment, I've got 95 and 96. Uh, 94 is coming, and the plan is to try and get all the ones up to 2006 which is the last year of Champ Car. And we've got four auto course uh, annuals at the moment. Uh, 1996, 2003, 2008, 2013. Um, I'm in the process of trying to collect, get some more. I, uh, these are highly sought after and if I can get these cheap, that would be really nice. Um, we've got uh, Formula One yearbooks starting in 1998. Um, they do start earlier at about 1991, um, but that's the earliest one I've got. And then we've got 2002 to 2008 consecutive. Um, I'm in the process of getting hands on uh, 99, 2000, 2001, so that'll make 11 consecutive of those. And at the end here we've got um, an F1 like fold out type souvenir book which is actually quite good. I picked that up cheap quite a few years ago. Um, if we go into the second shelf, we've got a whole bunch of VHS tapes, um, F1 Views, NASCAR, Le Mans, and some other DVDs at the end. Uh, Casey Kane, uh, NASCAR Authentics 164th Hauler. Picked that up for $10. Um, also got a pair of handcuffs. Uh, pen refills. Blank DVD cases. Actually, this is interesting. Uh, Grand Prix Legends and Richard Burns Rally. Now, if we go onto this shelf, we've got... Um, let's just take these die casts out of the way. Um, we've got um, Rapid Response from Steve Olvey. That's a really good book. He talks about um, some pretty nasty accidents he's been through. Greg Moore, Jeff Krosnoff. Uh, Center and Prost. That's a good book. Um... About their famous rivalry, Chariot Makers, uh, Physics of NASCAR, that's a good book. Um, this is uh, basically a summary of every F1 race up to 1991. Uh, Ultimate Speed Secrets, that's a good book. That's a driving coaching book. Uh, Murray Walker's um, Autobiography. This one is a very good book. Um, it's uh, a summary of every F1 race up to 2011. Um, Murray Walker's Grand Prix Challenge, Murray Walker's Grand Prix Year, every one published except 1988, and 1996 is falling apart, so I'm going to have to replace that. Uh, Formula One for Dummies, that's one of the first books I ever got. Uh, ITV Grand Prix Guides, only got two of those so far. Um, Grand Prix Who's Who, that's a really good one. Uh, published in 1994, uh, that's... Driver profiles, every driver that participated in an F1 race. I think it also includes the Indy 500 when that was part of the championship. Uh, IndyCar books, Michael Schumacher book, 
published in 1999 uh, when he moved to Ferrari. Uh, Analyzing F1, that's a good book, just stats and graphs of engines, winners, etc. Uh, Autocourse 1993 IndyCar. Uh, Bathurst book, that's just uh, pictorial history. Um, F1 years. Uh, Bruce Jones' Encyclopedias of F1. Uh, that's a David Tremaine F1 book from 1996. Um, another Schumacher book. That's another good book in F1. Um, tracks, years, etc. Clips of 500. Uh, that's the 10 year anniversary edition. Uh, covers the history of every Clips of 500 from 1999. If we go down here, Formula 1 pack, just falling apart. That's like a kitty type fold out um, cardboard cutout book. Uh, Le Mans, uh, that's another Bruce Jones book. Indy 500, that's a good one, um, published in 1987. Uh, F1 book for 96, this is a good one, it's like a 2001 yearbook and like um, team summary from, the, from 2001. NASCAR Chronicle, that's an excellent book. Uh, that's basically like a history of NASCAR from up to 2003, it's the last year of the Winston Cup. Planning on getting a new edition sometime soon. Now if we go over on the floor, we've got every Adelaide GP program from 1985 to 1995. Um, some more F1 guides and some editions of Motorsport Magazine. Uh, this is F1 Racing from 1997 up to 2012, 13. I stopped getting those because they started... Uh, it's become quite expensive and the content wasn't that good. Um, this is like an Autosport uh, 1986 review. Um, we've got F1 Racing. This is um, 2011 Indy 500 race program. So that was the 100th year of the Speedway. I've uh, got AGP programs, editions of pre-editions. Um... An Ant and Center, this is a good one. Ant and Center um, Autosport magazine on the 20th anniversary of his death. Um, more Melbourne GP programs from 1996 um, up to 2014. Um, also got uh, editions of Grand Prix International. Uh, that was published out of the UK. Got editions from 1981 up to 1986. Bits and pieces there. Go up to this shelf, we've got F1 Race Circuits, that's a good edition. This is an excellent book. Uh, History of the Monaco GP from up to 1998. That's a picture of F1, every F1 car that's raced. Um, Nigel Mansell's IndyCar Racing, that's like a yearbook from his perspective. This is a good book, uh, 1000 brake horsepower GP cars, talks about their design. Uh, a couple of good yearbooks, 1989 is a good one. Uh, I'm trying to get 1990, and that's 1988, but it's actually 1987 season, but it's got 1988 on the cover. 2002 Le Mans 24 Hour, that's one of the first books I ever got. Uh, 50 Years of NASCAR, that's the most error ridden book I've got in this whole collection. Saying Dead People Won Races, so yeah. We had Supercar Yearbooks. Red Bull, that's a good one. Um, like a technical um, manual. Uh, History of World Motor Racing, that's a good one. Um, got F1 Encyclopedias. Australian Grand Prix, that's um, History of When They w Wasn't Part of the World Championship. Goes up to first LA one in 1985. Gee, they just published a um, one that's um, up to 2014, I believe. Um, if we go up further, we've got DVD collection. Uh, all the good movies, Senna, Rush, TC Close to the Edge, uh, History of the Indy 500, Champ Car Reviews, A1 GP Reviews, MotoGP Reviews, Bits and Pieces, uh, Full Bathurst Races, V8 Races, uh, Viet Supercar Highlights, Bathurst Highlights, uh, NASCAR Sprint Cup Reviews, Man vs. Wild is in there too. Um, this is a good one, Air Crash Investigations, that's every season from 1 to 11, and then there's 12, um, is somewhere here. 
uh, here. Season 12. Excellent series. Uh, classic Australian Tour Car Races. Published by ABC. Uh, NASCAR Racing, F1. Um, so yeah, that's... Um, oh, we also got uh, 124 Diecast. Kevin Harvick. All Trip. 2001 Daytona. Rusty Wallace. Steve Park the week after Daytona. The day Lenhart died. Marcus Ambrose. So 1982. Well, actually not. It's a 19, yeah, 1982 Ferrari. Without Alberto driving. Um, that's about it. Um, yeah, so very good collection, I think. And uh, spent a lot of money and time on it. So I hope you...